Yo, yeah. pull up that meme of those three kids sitting around the table in the basement that people planet, always use. Planted you know planted planted something. Planted 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 something. Planted what were they planning? Time to clock in. Alright, so you miss it. <laughs> so you can't have them anymore. It's incredible. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. It's a horrible morning in Las Vegas. I'm down 20 thousand dollars right behind me right now there's a crowd of people and we are literally going into uh like orbit right now logan got us a plane that goes straight up into the sky and it's zero gravity right i booked flights i came here i was so excited i was pumped up because that we were going to go into space and i was like this is going to be a great vlog it's not space well, I know it's not space. Last night he hits me up. He goes, "You can't film it." You're not that guy. Fuck off. You're not that guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's going on here? Are you guys good? No, the GP's just trying to uh, murder some libs real quick. As I was saying, Logan put an embargo on the fucking on the footage, bro. That's an embargo. No one can know about this. No one can know about this, bro. Why you film? Put the shit down. But one thing fuck we off. one thing fuck we can off. film is GP. Though. No, fuck you. Hey, hey, hey. My just just If you're gonna be honest, Dad, the baby dead, you gotta fucking bring me along because you will fuck it up. Listen, I already proven I can do two out of two, right? Dude, I was his dad for the past three no, years. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, you weren't. Get that out of your head. That's silly talk, bro. Wait, are we actually going to space? We're going to space. We're going up. When it's up, then it's up, then it's up. No, I'm using this footage for this vlog. No. They can't even know that we're doing this? No. Oh, then stop filming. Right. right now, as you watch this, I'm pushing upload on the video that you watched from last week where David uh, hooked up with the second girl in two trips. Only time will tell if he's gonna go for the three P. I I have no concepts. I don't have concepts for YouTube. I have no concept of time. For life? I, for life, for nothing, bro. I just show up and blow up. And now a word from our sponsors. Okay, so you've probably been hearing this term metaverse thrown around a lot lately. Maybe even from Logan and myself on Impulsive, the world's number one podcast. Originally, the metaverse was just a sci-fi concept in movies, but as we spend more and more time on our phones and in the digital world, the idea of a full metaverse has become inevitable. So today's video is sponsored by The Sandbox, a decentralized metaverse made and owned by creators. The Sandbox is made up of three parts, Vox Edit, The Game Maker, and Marketplace. Vox Edit is the 3D editor you'll use to actually build upon your experience in the metaverse, i.e. a house for your avatar to live or a gallery to showcase your NFTs. The Game Maker will allow people with no coding experience to develop play to earn games that can generate actual in-world profit for both creators and players alike. And finally, the marketplace allows users to upload, publish, and sell their assets made in Vox Edit as non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs. Best of all, you can fully customize your avatar however you'd like. Here's the first ever metaverse, Hey Big Mike, doing a little dance for you on the screen. The Sandbox has already partnered with The Walking Dead, Atari, and Snoop Dogg to name a few, and you can join me on my land in the Sandbox when the game goes live by clicking the link in the description below. So go and create an account on the Sandbox box today and stay updated on the launch so you can join the party when it happens and let's get back to the night shift baby i don't know if i've said this before but the night shift is probably gonna become a food all right so i have to do a podcast with these two today but it's also the 300th episode of impulsive <laughs> you useless fucks your eyes are closed well, why do they need to be open? There is no more eccentric character than Manager Jeff. Like, Define eccentric. Pulls his dick out, we'll walk into the bathroom. And never done that. <laughs> Show me the videos. They will never find proof. <laughs> so anyways, as I was saying, the night shift's probably gonna become a food vlog. This is the stuff that they... It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in work, put in hours. It take what's hours. Just fucking for you. Bro, what? How, did they, how is the fake remote studio better than any <laughs> studio we've ever owned? <laughs> This was the first episode back after I stabbed you in the back. Remember that one in Miami? I remember all of the times. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome we, back we, to Impulsive News. Today I'm joined by host Logan Paul and George Janko we, with weather. You know, it's been quite the journey for us. It was really us. the worst episode I could ever possibly No, I don't care. I thought it was the best. It was, it was dog shit. It was horrible. It was the worst thing that's yeah, ever yeah, happened. Worst episode. Episode. <laughs> I shouldn't even post about it. I don't give a fuck. Yo, Logan. He's the one that lost all my money. Get him. I lost everything, Mickey. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you gotta help me. So I have good news and I got bad news. The good news is... I I had a million and a half in cash. The bad news is I spent it. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, what? But I, you're in the same oh, boat I am, except you have a better view. <laughs> First, I spent it on something good. Uh, I'm gonna plug um real quick. Purple you know, Mark. go ahead, plug yeah. it. All of it'll make yeah. it in. Yeah, uh, just plug it up, man. Anything yeah. you say right now will yeah. make it in. Trust me. Thank you, bro. Yeah, of course, got you. So I spent all my money on. I got a new token that drops. So that was good. What's going on with you over there? Why? Why the fuck? 
<laughs> you look how you looked that last night where we were all over the news. You gonna fight Mike Tyson? Literally the same shit, he just stood there. This guy's got nothing to fucking say. That's actually really fucking heavy. <laughs> It's like 408. $408,000. We're gonna try to make this a million. Tonight? I think we're gonna party a little tonight, blow off some steam. And if we're feeling super like juicy, like, all right, we can hit the tables and give it a shot, you know? Sounds good. I'm not always on this tip, but it's talk to strangers night. Love the pants, love the color, they look great. Dunked on him. This is the butler's room in the back of the high limit VIP table. We roll up to the roulette table, 10K, 10K, 10K. 36, let's go! That's like what, 40,000? I'm up 100,000. <laughs> just playing for, we're just playing light tonight. We're gonna take, we're gonna go from 500 to a million. The fucking man, the myth, the legend, Ryan Garcia. Okay. So fuck everyone talking shit. My wrist is really broken, I shattered that shit. Yeah. But guess what? When I come back, I'm coming back for your head. The best restaurant in the world right now, Carbone at the Aria in Vegas. And homie comes out and says to me, I have your book. What are you, what are you saying? Why you have that with me? I put it out to the existence. I knew I was gonna meet you here. And I literally texted my wife yesterday and I was like, I'm putting this out there. I'm gonna meet him tomorrow. And sorry, I don't mean to bother him. No, bro, don't. Don't, don't. don't. Always, always but fucking this, bother This book me, really did a lot for me, bro. Mickey just texted me 12.30 a.m. It's about five or six hours after I gave him the cash. He no, said he has good news and he has bad news. He can come up and say he has nothing. He can come back and say he has 200, I don't know. Oh. He got a bag with him. That can only mean good news. Damn, oh, y'all, I've never oh, seen so many dudes in one hotel room in my fucking yeah. life, bro. There's not one female here? We came from the business. We're not supposed to have women. I did like my like routine this morning where I really, really just want to clear my head. Uh, and it took like two sessions. It went from 70,000 over a million. <laughs> Two sessions. Are you fucking kidding me? The fucking vacuum seals. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Oh my god. These are half million dollar fucking Ziploc bags. Vacuum. Are these vacuum sealed? Bro. Can I hold it? <laughs> Just for a picture. Yeah. What game did you play? Baccarat exclusively. I fucking love really? Baccarat. Yeah. You fucking degenerate. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you broken the news yet in reality to anyone? So I'm moving to uh, Tribeca, New York. It's official. I'm literally leaving in like four days. I'll be back in LA some point in my life. I'm just, I need to take a break mentally, you know? A lot of people expect a lot from me and all that, and I know you're gonna cut all this shit out, but. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is guess what, H3 and Trisha paid us. Oh. The content house didn't work out. You were right. You guys are right. You called it the green curtain. Remember, he called it like a crack. What do you say? Like, it was like a crack. Crackhead shit. We weren't all on the same page, Just man. Just me and you. It, it was never even a content house. It was supposed to be a house of people with like ideas all working together. It is what it is, bro. All right, if I make this shot, uh, I'll stay in LA. If I miss, uh, I'll go. To, I'm going to New York. So here we go. Oh, oh. So it looked like it was going in. Listen, man. You want to go eat a ch one last cheeseburger before things end? One last cheeseburger. LA is the ca burger capital of the world right now. There's no one close. It's like an all-star game out here. Every single place we go to just is better than the next, a little bit worse than the next. We're in a small town called Los Feliz, a burger place called Gold Burger. It's on every top 10 list that I've seen. Uh, smash patties, American cheese, potato roll, and then this is the this is the one that uh, stands out on this one. Garlic aioli, pickles and onions on this. The last two we've done here, both were nine plus we're wagyu this is just straight up grass-fed uh usda beef and so they're really gonna have to make up for that meat loss with the cheese and the toppings they have to. and the garlic yep, aioli yep, yep, yep. three two one let's go Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That cheese though. The cheese is phenomenal. The American cheese have got two very thick pieces of American cheese on it. Still with that smash style, a little bit thicker than the ones we've been having recently. Before I forget, extremely crispy curly fry. Oh, I love curly. What are you doing? You're dropping the cap. This is my shit. This is my shit. Hey, my Russian on the side. Oh, Everybody like knows Russian. I love fucking Russians. Yo, if you're a Russian chick watching this episode of the night shift, slide in my DMs afterwards. <laughs> This is hitting, bro. It has a much heartier taste, I think because of the non-wagyu. It doesn't melt quite as much. It tastes more of like the American burger that we've come to know and love. Definitely a player, even in the all-star city that is Los Angeles. Gold Burger, Los Feliz. I'm gonna give it an 8.7. This burger is way up there in LA from the places I've eaten so far. This is this is in the top, top three or top four burgers that I've had in LA. It's just really hard to compete with that Wagyu that they have at, uh, at Hi-Ho and yep. at Burger Shiro. Another bomb LA establishment down. Gold Burger, Los Feliz, check it out and we'll see you. Oh, actually, you know what? That's it for this episode of The Night Shift. Thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking out, peace.
All right, start the call over. What'd you say? I'm not, I, I can't repeat it, okay? I don't, wait, hold on, I don't understand. Michael, I already, I, I told you what I had to tell you and that's all I could say. I, I, I just asked you to repeat, it was spotty and I don't know if I got it. What? Yeah. You, you got it. I don't so, understand. Uh, okay, that's all I can say. Well, I don't know what you that's said. I, you. I don't know what you said. What do you say? That I'm not allowed to game at the, <laughs> the anymore. I can't game, comp, stay, nothing anymore. Can't even game. You fucking idiot! No! No! <laughs> Kevin, where's your pen? No!